Hi all, and today we are showing you a very important part during the LCD laminating. No matter what kind of phones or what kind of machines you are using, they, they are all using the same way. If you are not doing it, doing correctly in this process, and then it will create a lot of bubble. So uh, I hope this video can help you well, and please look at the take a look at this video carefully and look at my hand and how do I operate it so first of all we clean the LCD to make sure there's there is no dust there is no oil on that it is it should be extremely clean all right and uh, when you are doing the real job and please do uh, do not forget that don't wear the gloves and avoiding the dust Okay, so we are now peeling off the protector slowly, then make it upside down to here to avoid the dust, and then putting the, the screen on. Okay, and then most importantly, check very careful. When we are putting down the glass, we have to we have to to be very slow, very slow. Do not do not let this glass completely contacting with the LCD. This is the most important point, because if the glass is totally completely contacting with OC, uh, this LCD that means the air will be locked inside and if the air has been locked inside that is for sure no matter what kind of machines you are using no matter how you did that the bubble inside it is impossible to be removed so this is the this is why uh, sometimes the customer they are using the machine and uh, after laminating, there are a lot of bubbles, and the bubbles could not be removed. That is all because of this problem. Okay, as you could see right now, actually, actually, the glass is not contacting with the LCD. There is some space in be between the LCD and the glass at this moment. Okay, so before moving moving this LCD this combo to the laminator. Uh, for avoiding the glass is moving left or right, then we will use two finger, and you could see from the other side there is a hole right here. There's a hole right here. We will use two finger to just give a little bit pressure in the middle to make it contact a little bit to make it contact just a little bit like this video already too much because this uh, this mode is not uh, is not really fitting well with this the uh, with this LCD so we you cannot just use a finger to press it press it and squeeze it cannot do it like do it like that we can only use two finger to to do something like you take the, take a look at this side we can only use the finger like this and press the middle a little bit only if only if until it contact a little bit with the with the LCD then it is enough just a little bit then it is enough the less it is contacting before laminating the better result you will have so this is extremely important point Please do make sure you have already watched this video carefully and you have been well understood on this point. So should you have any other questions about that, you can contact us. But if, uh, if you are not totally understanding, you, are, you can contact us also. So a lot of time, a lot, lot, in a lot of time, the screen has bubble. We can say that. 99% it is not about the machine it is about this process the alignment plus process only if this process is doing correctly and using the correct 
laminating pad. Then for sure it will have snow bubble because this this way already already experienced in the market for many many years. All right, or no matter no matter is it, it, you are using our machine or using other brand machine, they are the same. They are the same. Only if you are doing in this way, it won't has any bubble. Okay, the machine, or maybe this machine is uh, is bad quality or good quality or excellent excellent quality. No matter what kind of laminator in the market right now, it won't keep create any bubble anymore because this technical already very good in the market. Okay, everybody knows that. Only uh, sometimes the new the new clients in the in this industries. Uh, you might not you might not watch this kind of video yet so uh sometimes you might make the problem on on this uh, at this point okay so if you check carefully because i ha i have already stayed here for too much time too long time you can see here actually already already has a bubble here you can see the OCA already contacting surround this area. Okay, the black area, the black area that means it, the OCA of the of the glass already contact with the LCD. So like this kind of bubble already 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 lock. No matter you are using like five kilo five uh, five kilo pressure or six kilo pressure or ten kilo pressure, you cannot remove it. You cannot remove it like this. This is very important. Okay, like this kind of bubble right here, very tiny one. This kind of bubble is okay. Like this kind of big one, it will have a big problem. Okay, or if your your glass is contacting like this, I make another sample. If it is contacting like this, then the bubble, the huge bubble right here, cannot be removed. Very important because because a lot in a lot of time if the customer they don't they don't take care they take good care of this they they after doing alignment they might holding they might holding the the uh, LCD like this like this and then just hold it and then they are so afraid that they are so afraid that maybe maybe this glass could move then they 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 press it like this or they don't care about it just holding like this like this like this and then just laid it down or placed it in the chamber very uh, freely. So this is the big problem. Okay, like this, it's not, it's not okay. Do not, do not press it, do not squeeze it. This is the wrong way, okay? So that's all.